Hello students, our uh, today's topic is on active verbs and passive verbs. But first of all, we are going to look at our objectives, the things that we are meant to achieve when, once the lesson is done. The first one is define active and passive verbs. Use the rules to change from active to passive voice. Describe passive voice. Then, a verb is said to be active when the subject is performing the action. That is for active verbs. If the subject is performing the action, then that particular verb is active. For example, Mr. Obi killed a snake. When you look at this example now, you look, you see that Mr. Obi is the subject and killed is the verb. And because it's Mr. Obi that is performing this action directly, then this verb here is active. The same thing with this one. Chicken swept the house. Swept is active. Then the next one is passive voice. Passive verbs are those verbs that has been reported. The action of the subject has been reported. And because it has been reported, these verbs are no longer active, but passive. Example, using this example that I gave here, we will change it to passive. A snake was killed by Mr. O.B. You can see that Mr. O.B. is no longer here. It is no longer the subject. Another thing has become the subject, and because of that, this killed has become passive. The next one is, the house was swept by Chike. Now, there are rules guiding how to change from active to passive. The first rule for, and these rules have all their tenses. The first one is the present tense. You can see that there, there is a rule here. It's just like mathematics. So, when you look at this, you see that there is plus here. There is plus here. Don't get, don't get scared and say, and say, yeah, this is, but this is just English mathematics. The first one is, when you're changing present tense from active to passive, the object that is at the end will come at the first, plus the be verbs. The be verbs should be in the present, because this is present tense plus passive verb. This passive verb should be in the past participle, plus by, plus the subject. Now let's do it. This is the first example I gave. Mother cooks rice on Sundays. This is active voice. Now let's change it to passive voice using this. We we'll choose the object first, rice, plus be verbs in present, is, plus Passive verb in past participle. The passive verb here is cooks. In past participle, to become cooked, plus bad, plus the subject. Then you can add in anything that has been added. Like the one that is added here is on Sundays. So you add it. Rice is cooked by mother on Sundays. Then the second one is the past tense. The same thing goes for past tense. Object plus be verb in past because it is the past tense plus the passive verb in past participle, plus verb, plus subject. Example, Adap killed a rat. Adap killed a rat. We change it saying, a rat was killed by Adap. A rat was killed by Adap. When you look at this, you will notice that it's the same thing we did here, that we did here. But the difference is that this is in the present and this is in the past. Now, here is your assignment. Change the following to passive voice. We shall settle the matter. They gave us what was left. I shall do deal with the boy. The woman found the stolen ring. Beatrice is doing the work. Thank you very much.